What the fuck is sleep? I don't even know what that is. Just pull me up for what that tree is. Hold up and watch that bitch. I mean, just tell us a little bit, you know, about you know the chain you got on right now. It's obviously that's a top flight chain. Uh, yeah, you man. Wanna, you want to hold it up a little bit so they can see it. Yeah. So tell us about the chain a little bit, though. Man, when did so, you get it? Shoot, I got this when I, I think right before I started, right before I dropped Civil War. Um, I think that's about like a year and a half ago, maybe. Word. Um. But I knew I needed to invest. Um, I knew I needed to invest in my career. I wanted people to take me serious when it came down to it. Um, and that was one of the biggest things I knew that I felt like was going to 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 be that that ah, wow factor when somebody see you. Because in Nashville, you see a lot of people walk around. And I'm an artist, but they look they look like regular people or they look homeless. Yeah. Let's be real. Yeah. Okay. So it's like I wanted to stand out. When I step in the club, I want motherfuckers to look. I want you to look. Like, what does he do? Hey, man, I'm an artist. Hey, here go my new album. Blah, blah, blah. So it was more so of, for that reason. That's why I got it. You know, at the time, you know, me, me and Spiffy was having cheese. So we both invested in, in getting a chain. And so we was just like, bro, this is what we want. That's one of the biggest things that I always said that like if I want something I'm gonna go get it. You know what I'm saying? So I did everything I needed to. I took extra gigs, uh, you know, I worked over overtime, did everything I could to save up to get exactly what I needed for for that chain. Now of course I didn't sit here and spend all my all my money on, yeah. on a fucking chain. Like that's dumb as hell. Yeah. But I did everything I knew that I needed to to help help put my career where I wanted it to be. And I knew that once I made that investment, I had to go 110%. Because it's like, bro, you just spent all this money on a necklace. Now you done rapping. Now you done. It's like, why did you do that? So I knew at that point, that was me telling myself, hey, you got to go 110. That was, that was the boom. And that's when that, that, that switch was flipped. Like after that, I, I definitely went 110%. And everything I did when it came down to music after that. Uh, what about the watch? Same situation? Yeah, same thing. When it came down to it, like I knew for a fact that, hey, this is something. I, I wear watches all the time. At first, I used to always have on an Apple Watch. And uh, I wanted to definitely, uh, once my Apple Watch broke, I was like, bro, I got to have something on my wrist. And so then once I you know, started wearing different watches, I was like, I, this is addicting. Like, I want a different watch for everything I wear type deal. And so, like, I had to have something. I feel naked if I walk out the house without a watch on. Lucky. I feel naked if I walk out without a necklace on. Like, something. Like, I, before, even before I bought it, I had something on my neck. You know what I'm saying? At first, it was my Abu chain. And, you know, that one was a, okay, cool, I'm stepping up. But, yeah, I got it. I had to have something. So, you know, when it came down to it, looking good is, is addicting. Like that, that's why people buy designer clothes, designer shoes, designer pants, because looking good is addicting. So that that's that's really what it is. That's why I bought the necklace. That's why I bought the bought my my watch. Who did you go to? Did you stay in state or did you go like somewhere out of state? No, I got a uh, my jeweler. He's out of uh, Houston, Ice Customs. Uh, I feel like I heard of him before. Yeah, I, I fuck with I fuck with him. Any specific reason you went to him? Um. Uh, them pro really it was it was when I was pricing everything. Okay. First off, you gotta realize I'm not gonna sit here and tell motherfuckers that I'm a millionaire. Right. I'm not gonna sit here and say I got almost a million dollars in my bank account either. But I'm gonna definitely look to see what's the best deal. Right. I'm gonna see this is the quality I want. What who's gonna give me the best quality? Who's gonna give me the best deal for what I need to and who can I trust? Cause you gotta realize too, a lot of these jewelers is on Instagram and stuff is, and you can't really trust this shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? So you know, once I was able to actually link up with with them and, and sit down and talk and let them know exactly my vision and stuff, man, they were the only people who was a hundred, a hundred with me. You know, every step of the way they let me know what's going on, and so, like I told Spiffy, I was like, hey, let me do mine first, and then you know if we fuck with it. If you like how you know everything went, then you know you can trust it. Other than that, go somewhere else. But let let me let me see what's going on. 
but they was 110% every step of the way. Anything that was going on, they was letting me know. Updates, pictures, everything, every every step of the way. And that's that, that was fucked. Uh, that's why I fucked with, like, the, the, the full transparency made me fuck with them.